Is it time to change your build on your Polaris Ranger 1000? Today I'm going to show you how to do that. My name's Kristen and this is Maintenance Matters. We went ahead and removed the tires just for filming purposes. You don't have to do that to change your belt. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you're going to remove your screws holding on your clutch cover. Before you can remove the cover, you're going to need to loosen the bolt on your clamp for your air hose. Just loosen the clamp enough to remove it from the air box. Move that up out of the way and remove this bolt for the air box. There's also a bolt and push pin on top that you'll need to remove to remove the air box. To access those, you need to raise the bed. Now that the air box is loosened up, you can go ahead and remove the cover. You'll have to push up on the air box a little bit. And the brake line's in the way. Pull that out, set it aside. Now with our clutch exposed, we're gonna use our clutch puller tool. Thread that into our secondary. Your clutch tool is gonna to be located in your tool pack that came with your machine. If it's not in there, you can contact your Polaris dealership to get one. With that threaded in all the way, you should be able to slide your belt over the clutch. You'll need to rotate your secondary in order to get it to move and loosen up. Slide it over your primary. As you pull it off, you'll want to pay attention to how the riding is on the belt. So if you're going to reuse it, it needs to go back in the same direction. As you're inspecting your belt, you'll want to check for any fraying or breaks in the ribs. This one looks like it's in pretty good shape. If yours is damaged, contact your dealership and get a new one. And when you're inspecting your clutch, you'll want to take a clean rag Rub over your secondary and primary sheaves. Check for any kind of grooving or wear. If there is, you'll also need to replace those. If there's excess belt dust, you can use brake cleaner to get it cleaned off. Just be sure everything's dry before reassembling. You can also use an air gun to blow out any excess dust from your belt or a broken belt. Now that everything's cleaned up, we can reinstall our belt. Again, make sure that your riding's facing the correct direction. Flip the belt over your primary. Back onto your secondary. Now you can remove your clutch tool. And spin your secondary to tighten the belt back up. You know that it's tightened up once the ribs are even with the top of your sheaves. Now you can reinstall your clutch cover, tighten your air box back down, and reinstall your air hose, and you're good to go. And that's how easy it is to change your belt on Ranger 1000. Thanks for watching.